Hey everybody, Mike here, February 5th, 2016. Thank God it's Friday. Yes, indeed, thank God it's Friday. Thanks to everybody that subscribed last week. I do appreciate that very much. Don't forget, check out some of the old videos. Leave some comments if you wanna. Happy birthday to Leonard Villaflor, 11 years old. Happy birthday, dude. Also to John Antonio. Happy birthday to the both of you. And also a shout out to Brian Vista. Wait a minute. What the heck? What? There we go. <laughs> Oh my God, those things go every which way but loose. Hey, today's little food jam is, um, oh, you know what? I was thinking about uh, la this week, Nick, maybe in a couple of weeks, I think I'm going to start putting out the show every Sunday. I don't know. It's during the week, it gets to be a little bit of a hassle because if I get busy at work or something, then I have to make time to make the video. It almost seems like it would be so much easier on me if I... Uh, put out the video on Sunday, but recorded on Saturday. Doesn't that make sense? When I have, uh, you know, the majority of free time, I think that makes sense. So in the near future, I may be putting out on Sundays. Hey, today's food jam, my nephew and I stopped off at the Asia market to get some turmeric root. I wanted to show him how to make tea with that. And we saw these little guys. This is, and I've tried to search for this on Google because they spelled it wrong. They spelled it Rambutan instead of Ram, R-A-M, you know, like a, like a ram hitting you with horns. It's actually called Rambutan. Look at these hairy little fruits. I have never seen these before. I don't recall seeing them at the Asian market. But they, what were those things on Star Trek called? Tribbles or... Little furry things, that's kind of like what they resemble. They're not thorny, they're really, it's kind of hairy. They look like, they look all hairy. I mean, look at that. I'm holding a pair of them right there, and they're pretty hairy. Yeah, yeah, I better get a razor on that, son. Anyway, Ram, Ram Booten, Ram, Ram Booten, and they are native to the Malay Indonesian regions and other regions of tropical Southeast Asia. So that's probably why I found them at the Asian market, right? Of course. You know what I also got with me? A raw coconut. I want to open up a raw coconut. I want to show you how I do it, and I'll tell you why I do it the way that I do it. Uh, so I figured that's what I'd do. Anyway, let's get started with these little suckers, man. They feel kind of soft. They kind of have a... Uh, almost. They almost smell like a, 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 a non-sweet raspberry. But from what I saw in the directions on the net, I supposed to kind of give them a slice around. And then they kind of open up to this seed thing in the middle. Oh, there, it, ooh, look at that. It's like an egg. Here, let me get the, wow, that looks outstanding. That looks outstanding. <laughs> that kind of smells just like a raw fruit of some sort. Let's get this out of there. Now, some others had said that you can slice them and take the pit out. But that seems, I mean, this is, looks pretty cool the way it sits as is. I mean, I like that. Pop it in your mouth, just don't crunch down on the pit, right? And then spit the pit out. Rather than making a big, huge mess, which I've seen some people doing on videos, cutting it, trying to get the pit out. That doesn't make sense. Let me just bite into this. Oh, that pit's a little bitter. And the skin comes off. Mmm. Mmm. Very fibrous. You know what that tastes like? Wow. Let me take one more taste of this. It tastes like a grape.
It tastes like a green grape. Oh, that. The skin on that um, pit is bitter. Maybe you're not supposed to eat that. Let me, uh, let me get everything off of this. <laughs> I forgot a paper towel. There's the pit. There are some of the meat still left on. Wow, these are interesting. You know, I, I like them, but to me, let me open this up right close to the camera. They taste, they taste good and I like them, but mm, that little piece of the, the way the skin comes off of that pit so easily, I'm not so sure I'm in love with these things. Let me just peel a little bit of this meat off. Oh, yeah. See, there, there comes the juice. That's what, that's what I was singing on the videos. They were just making a mess when they would do this. Oh, I got knife skills. And they have their own nice handy dandy little holders for the, uh, for the pits. Let me get a paper towel. Oh, there we go. Yeah, when we were going through the market, my nephew saw these and he said, man, you ought to get them and try them. Um, he said that they, he said they tasted a little bit like grapes and he had them when he was in Costa Rica on vacation. Let me get, well, I have one that's got a little bit more of a pinkish hue there. Boy, these, look at that, man. They just look like they would be dangerous, right? But they're not. Like a puffer fish. All right. Let me slice, dice, slice, crack open. There it is. So easy. Again, though, just that skin that's on that pit. And if you get close, see, like when you get close and take off the meat, I'll show you. There's the pit. There's the pit right there. Almost looks like an almond. But that's what you get. You get some of that skin from the, the sea that's left over. And that's bitter. It just doesn't taste good. Oh, what the hell. Mm. It's different. I like the fruit. I just like the bitterness of the of that skin. All right, let's put this off to the side. Wow, not bad. Thanks for lining me up with those, Chris. I appreciate it. Those are, are not bad at all. Now, le coconut. I brought my big knife with me, my big knife, to get into this. I don't have one of those hatchets or cleaver hatchets, cleavers, but I have this big guy. So let me open up this sucker. Here's what I do. These are covered in plastic, right? Young coconut covered in plastic. Why are they covered in plastic? People think they're probably covered in plastic because that's the way they get shipped and that's just all good and that protects them and everything. But yes and no, it protects the cover, but these things are soaked in formaldehyde. Um, so this is kind of meant to, so you don't get your fingers all over the formaldehyde. So you don't, when you're cutting into one of these, you don't want to peel all this plastic off when you cut it, right? Because you don't want to get your hands full of formaldehyde. But here's what I do. I'm going to stand up for this. I shave until I reach the coconut. And as you can see, the plastic is still on, right? There we go. So I got that. We're going to put that off to the side. As you can see, it's all coconut. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of hack, hack, and hack kind of in a circle and try to make it break a circle on top if I can. Let's, and I've never done this sitting down, so hopefully I can, well, I just don't want to do this and cut my hand off, right? Well, this one didn't cut too well. There we go. And we pop that off. And we have some young meat up on top, and there's the hole with the coconut water. And we're going to take this. Here's where I make a mess. Watch this. Oh, got it. I can't, didn't drop one drop. Unbelievable. Nice. So, we've gotten all this. We've got this part that we've shaved off, which doesn't have formaldehyde on it. So, it's okay if the water goes on that. And it's still covered in plastic. 
so you don't have to uh, worry about getting that formaldehyde crap on your hands. Fresh coconut water, so good for the stomach. And I've been dealing with gastritis for the past couple of weeks because like a fool, I got off my diet. I shouldn't say diet, I got off eating correctly and it ended up giving me a gastritis again, which then reflects to the back pain. I think I mentioned that a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, here's some good fresh coconut water. I'm just gonna take a nice little taste first. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That is the best stuff, excuse me, in the world. And then, if you want, you can always come in here and scoop off some of the meat and eat it. And it's real slimy and soft, right? Those of you that know young coconuts. But this is great. Like when I'm making, uh, let's say, a raw smoothie. If I'm making a raw smoothie, you pop this open, put the coconut water in, scrape all of this out, all this meat out, and put that in your smoothie along with some strawberries and a banana and whatever else you want. And it's like you got a complete, total, raw, wonderful smoothie. Mmm. Oh my God. So good. Take this right off the cap and eat this. Mmm. I'm having fun here today. All right, one more scrape. One more scrape, and then I'll eat the rest of this off camera. Oh. Mmm, so slimy good. Well, that's it. Thanks, Chris, for bringing these to my attention at the Asian market. I do appreciate that very much. And I got a little coconut on the side while I was there, so that's really good, man. Hey, like I said, I'm thinking about, seriously thinking about changing the show over to releasing on Sunday mornings now instead of Friday mornings. I hope you guys, that's not that big of a change, right? It makes life easier on me. What am I trying out today? That's right, Uzo. Uzo licorice. Mmm. Smells like a licorice candy all up in here. That's kind of a big shot of Uzo. Oh, 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 Melina was the one who started turning me on to that stuff when she sent me a few bottles from Greece. I think I got this one here, but I still have a couple of bottles that she sent me up there. Some of the middle, small little uh, collector's item bottles that she sent. That's it. Get some sun. Get some exercise. Be healthy. And I'll see you when? Next time. Bye. Happy birthday to Leonard. Oh, oh.